and gentlemen, I'm Dr. Mark Smith, Natchez Trace Veterinary Services, Franklin, Tennessee, and also creator of Vet Care Library, a new all-encompassing website that answers and gives you up-to-date information on any pet health care related topic or question that you may have. And today I'm here to talk to you about massage for dog arthritis. I get questions all the time. Dr. Smith, how can I help my dog at home with arthritis? What can I do to alleviate his pain? Besides giving the medicine that I instruct and I tell people to use and following the techniques I tell people to use, another thing you can do is massage your dog. And today Becky and I are going to teach you and show you some tips on the best way to alleviate your dog's pain through massage. All right, meet Stella. Stella's a, not the prototype that you'll be performing massage on because Stella's a young dog. However, she's very laid back and she's a great dog uh, to illustrate our point of how to massage your dog. So the first place we're going to focus on is the stifle. The stifle is otherwise known as the knee and the dog. You can see Becky's hands. Uh, she's right in the area of the stifle. The stifle is a common place for arthritis because of cranial cruciate rupture or ACL tears in the dog. And so Becky's performing a variety of techniques. Uh, she's using her fingers to massage the muscles and the joints and now she's using her knuckles to apply pressure over a, a wider area. She can also use her palm and Becky can also take that joint through its full range of motion by flexing and extending the area. Now occasionally, kind of like Stella, she's, she doesn't like that uh, and that's okay. So what we do in those situations is we take the joint right to the point of where it hurts and then we hold it there, hold it for 10 seconds and let it sit there. And what that does is that breaks down a lot of the adhesions that form either from a surgery, from arthritis, from trauma to the leg, uh, or from any other reason where the leg is not utilized and used and extended and flexed through its full range of motion. So that is the stifle region. So the next region we're going to go to is the hip. The hip's a unique joint in the dog. Becky, show us where the hip is. Okay, there's the hip, right in that area. And the hip is the place where the femur, which is the long bone of your thigh, attaches to the pelvis and this is kind of a, uh, a socket joint uh, where there is a ball that sits in a socket kind of like a light bulb sits in a light fixture and so there's a couple of different ways to massage this joint as you'll see Becky doing right now she is actually uh, using her fingers to massage the whole area of the hip See it going around and around and around. She's also using her palm to apply pressure evenly over the area. And then the hip is unique because it's a joint that moves at 360 degrees. So she's now taking that hip through its full range of motion. And every once in a while, this will cause dogs, they'll, they'll resent this, especially an older dog that has hip arthritis. But this is good because it keeps the muscles supple it keeps the muscles going through their range of motion and it helps to strengthen the muscles and ultimately alleviate pain. Now she can do that in that direction or she can take it and do it the other direction. Okay. And she can also do it uh, by flexing and extending the stifle at the same time. Now this is a little bit more vigorous exercise and can cause more pain or objection but it's a good exercise to keep that leg rolling and to keep that leg moving and to hopefully eliminate pain through massage. The next area that we're going to move on to is the back. Becky can you show us where the back is? Okay the back if you feel down the center of your dog's back you will feel some small little protuberances or little points and those are the dorsal spinous process of the vertebral bodies. On each side of those little points are two muscles, okay? And lots of times those muscles will get tight, they'll get painful, they'll get inflamed when a dog has back arthritis. So we can actually massage those two areas. And right now Becky is running down the length of those two muscles 
putting pressure, about as much pressure uh, as you would put uh, when you were trying to draw a line in the sand, let's say with your fingers, she's putting pressure on those two muscles. Now she can do that focally. If you know exactly where your dog hurts, let's say in the uh, thoracolumbar region, okay, which is kind of the middle or very center of the back. If you know exactly where your dog hurts, then you can apply pressure directly to that area by using her thumb and forefinger and doing what she's doing. The only thing I'd encourage you to do is put it on both sides of the back not just one side okay you can do it like that or you can use one hand and spread your fingers just like she's doing right now okay and you can do that as hard or as soft as you want some dogs will resent it when you do it hard or when you push down deep into those muscle bellies okay i don't think you need to worry about hurting your pet uh, but i do think you need to be aware of the fact that dogs with a back problem can be sore it can bite and sometimes if you hit it just right while you're doing these techniques, uh, it can be quite painful. So that's an explanation of back massage. Uh, we will now go on to the next, which is gonna be the front elbow. The front elbow is a common place, probably the second most common place for dog arthritis. And the reason why is because it is a very complex joint. It's an intersection of three different bones, the radius, the ulna, and the humerus. And dogs can also get dysplasia or elbow dysplasia in that area. And elbow dysplasia is most common in large breed dogs, Labradors, Rottweilers, those type of dogs. So the elbow, it needs to be taken through its full range of motion. And you can see her doing that. So she's extending that elbow and then she's flexing it. She's extending it she's flexing it and lots of times in dogs that have arthritis you will feel that elbow crackle and it doesn't feel all that good it feels like there's a lot of grinding and it's kind of like you got a bunch of sand or something in the joint and it's not real appealing to hear that joint grind as you extend it through its full range of motion and what she's doing now is Becky's massaging the inside and the outside point of the joint and you can massage it at different levels. In other words, there she goes. Now she has it, she's massaging it and it's, and it's in full flexion. So extend the joint out, Becky, do, use your other hand. Okay, there you go. So she's got it extended and she's now massaging it uh, through while it's extended she's massaging up and down the extensor tendons the triceps all those different muscle groups and pull the leg back towards you pull it all the way back towards you the other way there you go yeah right there now massage it right through there yeah so it's an extension the elbow is an extension shoulder is in flexion and she's massaging all those areas up in there so the elbow is a common region to get arthritis. And it's a real common area that you can massage and you can really help those muscles in that area. So thank you for watching the video and we hope you learned some good techniques in how to massage your pet for arthritis pain. Thank you for watching the video. If you have any questions, you can email me through my website, franklintnvet.com. You can also email me through the new website, vetcarelibrary.com. The new website empowers you. It gives you information, product reviews, up-to-date information from experts that you can use in making your health care decisions regarding your pet. Thank you very much, and I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you.